Recent numbers from the Center for Disease show flu activity is decreasing overall, but remains high around the country. This year's flu season has been an active one, and here in Central Florida, One Blood Center is urging donors to donate while they're healthy. Joining us now to talk about how you can get life-saving health results is Susan Forbes, Senior Vice President of Communications and Public Relations at One Blood. Susan, welcome back. Thank, Thank you so you. much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. All right, so you were talking about there's certain peaks and dips throughout the year when it comes to, to blood, and this is kind of your your issue spot right now. Right, well, usually the uh, last two weeks of the year and the first two weeks of the year are the most challenging time for most blood centers just because school's out, it's mm -hmm. holidays, and mm -hmm. the way the holidays fell this year made it a little more challenging, but things are starting to pick back up, and so really our message is encouraging people to make sure that they're donating You know, each and every time that they are eligible to ensure mm -hmm. that ready blood supply 365 days a year, and as we're heading into that peak of flu season, you know, we want to make sure that people are donating while they're healthy because the flu can get any one of us at any time and yeah. then we can't donate. Yes, yeah, so we have certainly seen that. Lots of Lysol yeah. around this yes. building. So people need to donate while they're, while they're healthy. And also a message that I know I hear you guys saying a lot is don't wait until there's a tragedy. Exactly. I mean, you do not want to wait for a tragedy to occur to become a blood donor. Uh, it's the people really who are coming in the days before a tragedy happens that are ensuring a ready blood supply because you have to be proactive about about donating and not reactive because the blood it takes about two to three days for your donation to be ready so we turn it around very quickly mm -hmm. but there's still some time needed so uh, it, it, if you donate every time you're eligible you are doing a tremendous service to your community by ensuring a ready blood supply when and where it is needed and people need it every day yeah and how often are people eligible to donate you don uh, you can donate whole blood every 56 days oh, okay and, and platelet donors can do it every up to every seven days so uh, wow. you know donating every time you're eligible is key for the blood supply and also, uh, we were talking before about diversity of the blood mm -hmm. supply and ensuring a diverse blood supply is available, meaning that people of all ethnic backgrounds are donating. Mm -hmm. um, you know, people don't often realize, but genetics play a big role in finding blood for certain patients. Uh, specifically, sickle cell patients is a mm -hmm. great example of that. Primarily impacts the African American community and people of African ancestry. And uh, genetics play a role in finding blood for those folks. Mm -hmm. They need constant blood transfusions, and you're most likely to find the perfect match for them from another person of African ancestry. So you actually fill that stuff out when you go to donate your blood. Because I, when you mm -hmm. were saying diversity, I was imagining, you know, A, B, O, that type of diversity. Right. But you're talking about actual heritage yes. making a big, big impact. And most people don't realize it, but your genetics play a huge role because we all have different antigens on our red blood cells, mm -hmm. and that's what is needed in matching that for people who need constant blood transfusions, like a sickle cell patient or a cancer patient. So genetics, genetics make a difference. And I know that there's sometimes there's days and different things that happen that you're not allowed to to donate blood. So what are some of those in case people are like, oh, I, I can't donate blood. I'm not allowed yet. Right. Um, when you come into the blood center, you will fill out a form and then we will, you know, if you have traveled to a certain area, certain medications, gotcha. things like that can mm -hmm. defer you. But uh, there's a whole list of things that you're asked to fill out and then you move on to the donation process, which is really very quick, uh, very simple. We have a tremendous group of team members, so they make it a lot of fun and we encourage you to come on in. So it's a simple process. Take us through that and then one pint of blood can save three people, is that yes. right? Right, uh, one wow. blood donation can save up to three people wow. because we are gonna separate that into three separate components. And so uh, your red blood cells will help one patient, uh, platelets and plasma go to another patient. So it's just a little bit of your time and you're, you're literally giving someone their life back and there really is no greater gift than that. So uh, it's something that we encourage people to do. January's National Blood Donor Month, so it's a great time to recognize donors and a great time to become a donor if you haven't already started. So somebody who's never donated blood, what would you say to them about what it's like? I would say come on in and mm -hmm. donate because it really is a simple process and there's a lot of misconceptions out there mm -hmm. about blood donation. And once you come in, you know, we've seen a lot of first time donors who had that fear factor. Yeah. They come in, they're like, that was so easy. I'm like, it is easy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and uh, it really is a great way to make an impact on your community that just really takes a little bit of your time. And you get juice and cookies at the That's end. That's right. right. So, <laughs> it's great. Win, win, yes. right? Awesome. And so you also have your main, your main areas, your main, um, 
buildings that you guys right. are in, we, but you also have, you know, buses and whatnot. You've seen that big red bus oh, yeah. around town, you know, just hop on board when you see it. They're everywhere. We have over 200 of them throughout our service area, over 90 donor centers. We service the state of Florida, Georgia, Alabama, South Carolina, North Carolina. So we're all over the place and uh, we make it very easy and convenient. Just go to oneblood.org and you can find a location near you. All right, perfect. Thank okay, you so thanks. much. Thank All right, you. so I've, I've never donated. I've got to go do it. Oh, we're bringing yeah. you down Got to give it a center. try. Yes, I need to find the big red bus. <laughs>